What about uh, within the, you know, backend management? Are there any systems or processes there that help the finances be more efficient? You know, I think it's prudent to shop for your insurance once a year. Make sure that you're not overpaying for that. Um, I think there's a few little things that you can do here and there. Like if interest rate markets are changing, um, you know, kind of being aware of that. Some people, you know, will end up doing a refinance if rates move in their favor. Um, There's not a ton that you can do, but I mean, it's just kind of being aware of where you can save money. Um, And then the other side of that equation is the rents. So if you keep your properties really nice and desirable and you try and have all your leases end between May and September, which is prime season, we're getting 10% to 15% more on June 1st than we get on January 1st. So that's probably a bigger impact than anything you could do on the expense side is getting the, the lease duration to end in prime season. Yep. Are you finding that's still the case now? I know when I was managing properties and leasing properties for other people, um, that was our plan as well. But for my own properties since then, I haven't paid too much attention to it because I feel like the rental market is so hot right now. Uh, rents are going mm-hmm. up every time I re-rent something. Um, was it still important to get those leases around the summertime? I still definitely go for it. Um, I've noticed, like, for example, my building in downtown St. Paul, it's very nice urban loss with exposed brick and, you know, 14 foot high ceilings and all this kind of stuff. We had difficulty leasing it for the very first time uh, because we're trying to lease it right now. Um, it seems like very few people have a desire to move in the winter. I always used to joke the only people that move in the winter are the recently separated and the recently relocated um, because you wouldn't choose to if you could if you could help it. Right. It's hard to get help uh, and all those kinds of things. Um, But I I mean, there's always an exception to every rule. So I think that sometimes it is okay to rent in the winter, but I personally would recommend uh, trying to keep it in the prime season because that's when everybody is looking. And then once a prospective tenant looks at a property and they, they kind of him and haw about it and then they go look at another one and another one and then they decide they want to go with the first one, but it's already off the market. Then they get a little bit, uh, you know, their trigger finger gets a little looser and they start to be ready to execute on a lease on something that they like a lot faster. Yep. Yep. That makes sense. Uh, it's all about supply and demand. It right? is. Principles of economics right there. Yep. Yep. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.